Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Coffee Rant with Dano and Frank, the Patriot Bald Eagle. If you have to have pause on this video to get your coffee together, have coffee with us this morning as this will be a lengthy discussion. We've got a lot to talk about today. So over the last couple few weeks, we've been getting a lot of comments on stores around the country here, around the United States that have been closing. A lot of value stores. We know that there's a lot of family dollar and Dollar Tree stores that are going to be closing at the same time, Dollar Tree is going to be raising a lot of different prices. In my opinion, this is a huge mistake. Um, whether they lose business or not, will only time will tell. But because we've been getting comments of some other places and a lot of people have been chiming in on this, I thought it's important that we talk a little bit about stocking up on some of these things while we still have the opportunity. Now, I did a video uh, on how Dollar Tree... Uh, which I believe made a huge mistake. And I think that um, one of the things that we need to recognize is that some of these items could go up. Even the ones that they say are going to be $1.25 could be going up at some point. Might be a good idea to stock up on some of these items as we go along here. And I, I wouldn't hesitate. I, I would go ahead and stock up on some of these items now. And if they don't go up in the future, in the immediate future, because they most certainly will here in the longevity of things because that is one thing we are not seeing in the grocery stores as prices come down if we do see things come down it's usually just because of a, an okay sale or a few things that may come down about five or ten cents only to see said items go back up a month later because that is what we see happen at a lot of our major grocery stores around the country we'll see something go up a dollar in a year and then it'll come down like a nickel or 10 cents and it looks looks like a good deal for instance philadelphia cream cheese we saw a 359 uh for a brick of it at kroger now here we are a year later and it came down to 349 philadelphia cream cheese looks like a hero as to where it's still the most expensive it's ever been so it's important that we don't forget these things the reason why i wanted to put this video together here for you guys is because one we need to talk about these things. We need to talk about stocking up for the future. The future is uncertain. We don't know what's going to happen. And the not knowing is the knowing that we need to prepare. We need to make that with, with everything going on, with all the different uh, transportation issues, no matter how uh, land, air, or by sea, you know, we continue to have transportation issues with products. We continue to have wars uh, overseas. You know, we continue to have conflict in the Middle East. Russia, areas where we do get a lot of products from around the world. We continue to see problems with rice bans and co coffee's next, guys. This is what we keep talking about. We've seen coffee subtly go up in price over the last few months. Well, I think it's going to get a lot higher as we go along here due to drought. The, the, the two reasonings for these are drought and extreme raining conditions. So in one side of the world, you have serious drought. And then on one side, you have serious rainy conditions, which are causing issues with different types of coffee beans. So take that for what you will. We're always talking about stocking up on coffee, which is really important. You know, if you, if you love your coffee, it's a good time to stock up on some of that. Also, I am drinking Joffrey's today. Joffrey's coffee, one of my favorites. Jessica picked me up a couple uh, big container of it here for Easter, which is awesome. Also, Jessica is feeling great. The medicine has worked for her. It is uh, feeling really good. I'm feeling really good. We had a great Easter. Hope everyone had a great Easter as well. Um, now, we have noticed some things like, you know, speaking of Easter, let's talk about eggs for a second. Uh, some people have been saying that their prices of eggs have still been going up. We've seen egg prices come down a little bit. Uh, hopefully they keep trending in the right direction. I know people were saying that eggs are usually on sale for Easter. We did not see that at Kroger or Meyer. They're still the same price. We did see where 12 count of eggs had dropped down to $2 at Walmart. So that was a significant price drop. We'll see if that continues or if that was just an Easter sale. Um, you know, a lot of these things, when they start coming back in, like distilled white vinegar, uh, there were a lot of people, uh, someone wanted me to mention, I do think it's important if you do not know, but I feel like if people are canning their own products, if you are trying to preserve your own products, uh, yeah, you want to use the 5% acidity of the, uh, distilled vinegar, 
right? You want to use 5%. There have been a lot of brands, a lot of new brands that have been coming out and it's only 4%. 4%. So I thought it was good to mention that. One of our longtime viewers mentioned that the other day. Uh, and I thought that, yeah, it's a good that we understand that if you're going to do something like that, you want to make sure that you get the 5% acidity so that uh, it is good to go for your canning goods. Anyway, uh, and, and that is very wise. Everyone out there who's can, we have a lot of viewers on our channel who can their own products, who preserve their own fruits and vegetables and meats. And I, I just think that is an awesome thing. We're coming up on spring here. Might be a good idea if you have a little garden or maybe start a little garden, you know, um, good, to, good to start somewhere. And I know we have a lot of viewers on the channel who grow gardens, getting to be that time, springtime. It's, it's here. It's here. We got, got some cooler weather coming here in the next couple of days, but I don't know. I mean, it's a good time to start getting those things going. Uh, to ultimately save a little bit of money in the future, even if you can grow just a little bit, uh, you know, having a garden is good for the soul, you know, knowing that you grow your own stuff, knowing that you uh, aren't aren't having to put uh, all these different chemicals and stuff like that on the stuff. So anyway, just wanted to throw that out there. But thing is, is that with all these stores that are going to be closing, guys, we need to really pay attention because Dollar Tree, like I said in the other video. Um, if their price plans or price increases work, then they'll stay in business. If it doesn't, I don't see them lowering prices and that could prove devastating for places like Dollar Tree, which could prove devastating for people who especially are living like day to day, because a lot of people rely on places like this to get by until their next paycheck, you know, so I, you know. It's just, I hate hearing all these things, and it is funny how this happened. Uh, they talk about this with the price increases days after they talk about closing a lot of different stores. I think, you know, that's kind of the kind of the double blow there, the double whammy. Anyway, let's take a pause for this awesome coffee here. Um, it's important that we recognize a couple things. One, prices are only going to continue to go up. Over the last couple of years, we've seen prices steadily increase uh, as to where, you know, whenever you look at inflation numbers, they say that it has nothing to do with food, but yet it does because everything outside grocery stores with everything that is going up with inflation is causing prices to go up everywhere, which will cause prices to go up on food no matter what anybody tells you. And I don't care what anybody tells you, prices are not coming down. We have realized that. We have figured that out. We're trying to work around that by always finding and shopping the best sales and the best deals that we can at that time. Now, uh, over the last week, I have been ill. I am since better. We are going to start searching out for different options of things that people have been asking about. One of those continues to be over-the-counter medicines. Now, we're going to seek out some other places, places that we normally you may not think to go to find some of these different things, but we're going to seek them out anyway. One, it'll be a fun adventure to go to some places I haven't been in a while. And two, it'd be good to, you know, seek out what other options are out there. Maybe find some deals along the way. I'm not going to focus so much on the different sales of these things as to where I'm going to just try to find them and point them out to where they, where they are and how you can get them. Now, it's an ongoing issue. I don't know how big it's going to get. Um, hopefully, you know, as we're stocking up on these different medicines, because believe me, over the last couple weeks, I've realized how important it is to make sure you're well stocked on some of these medicines. Because even though we didn't have an issue, even though we didn't have an issue, we very easily could have. You know, it's like you if you need your certain cough medicines or ibuprofen, acetaminophen, these kind of things, we want to make sure that we're able to get them. I know a lot of our viewers in Canada have been chiming in saying it's been a real issue. We also have one of our viewers from Australia. Apparently, uh, there's been another issue with over-the-counter medicines with over there as well, including, I know you had said, uh, prescription medications. Now, that has been an ongoing issue as well. A lot of people haven't been able to even get a third a third, I've heard in a few different comments, I remember before people were talking about half the medicine going back, being guaranteed your next half, and then going to the store or going to the pharmacy, and then them pushing it off an extra week, or people asking, like, do you have enough to get by until this date? Like, 
you're paying for your insurance. Get it done. Like, that's my thought. Like, I'm, you know, you're making a killing here. You're making a killing on this, and you're telling me to come back for my medicine? I mean, I understand things happen, but this is happening way too often. We have way too many viewers, way too many viewers on the channel here that have that have talked about how hard it is to get your different medicines, prescription medicines, a lot of diabetic medicines, insulin, things like that, that people are struggling to get. This should not be a struggle. This should not be a struggle at all. And we have had viewers from all around the world talk about the diabetic medicines. Shouldn't be an issue. Shouldn't be a problem at all. Um, but it is. And, you know, we just need to make sure maybe, you know, if you have the opportunity to stock up a little extra on these kind of things, if you can, because if you're not dealing with this problem right now, you might here in the future. Okay, because we have a lot of people on the channel here, over 43,000 uh, uh, something subscribers on our channel here, which many more viewers who watch the channel um, that are talking about this. And that's an awful lot of people to, to where you're having issues getting your prescription medication. I, I, I thought about doing an entire video on talking about just this. But I was like, well, we'll mix it into some of the other things that we've been talking about. The whole the stores closing. There's a couple of them. I know people weren't talking uh, some names, but some people were saying like 99 cent stores. I think there's a night or is it a dollar 99 center in Florida? Somebody was talking about. Uh, and then there's a 99 center, 99 cent center, I think it is, in California, which uh, that I don't know. Did they all close? Um, I know they closed around here a long time ago. Um, and, and I think they're, they're just, I, I think a lot of these places realize that if they raise their prices, people just aren't going to shop there. The thing that kind of worried me a little bit with Dollar Tree is that all the items that you talked about raising in price is all food and, and cosmetics, oral hygiene, body wash, shampoo, stuff like that. And the thing that I really don't like, okay, and I think we're going to be seeing this more and more. We've seen, we've seen places like Walmart. We've seen places like Target. We've even seen places like Kroger do this. Tell me if this sounds familiar. You go into your grocery store and it's like, okay, I kind of like this at Kroger, okay, where you have Advil, okay, you have name brand Advil, and then you have the Kroger version right next to it. Didn't used to be that way years ago. You used to have the section of Advil and that, and then you would have the Kroger section that had all those. They have since integrated or mixed in right? Mixed in the different ones because they want you to see how much more you're saving by buying the store brand. I get that from a business perspective. But Dollar Tree has been a place where you go inside and you think, okay, here's the price. Here's, it's a dollar. Okay. And then it went up to a dollar 25. So everything in here is a dollar 25. Don't have to think about it. Ooh, look at this. I like this. Put it in the cart. Ooh, look at this. Put it in the cart. <coughs> now they're going to start mixing products together right now how well are they going to be now this is a store that really hasn't had to add that really hasn't had to add different stickers everywhere right like three dollars here dollar 25 like it's and and the problem with this is that people are going to be going in in the line i i see many things going wrong with this one lines are going to be very long because people are going to be getting the products maybe a product you get all the time and you're like i'm not paying three dollars for that then you find a brush i'm not paying five dollars for that and then you find a meal that was in the wrong spot i'm not paying five dollars for that you catch my drift here this is going to be ridiculous at dollar tree and uh, some other stores that are going to implement this as well. Now, as to where there have been, Dollar General has had their issues as well over the last couple years. Uh, me, when I shop at Dollar General, I'll just tell you this right now. I take pictures of everything. And if they don't give it to me for the price, which I've, I personally have never had an issue with this. Okay, let me say that first off. I take pictures of everything that I buy and I take it up to the front because I don't want them to have to go back, which sometimes they probably will go back and look at the prices that are on the, on the shelves. Okay. Dollar general was dealing with a major issue with this. Apparently a lot of them weren't, or they were marking things down or not, not offering to give people the stuff that were on this, on the uh, sticker price on the wall. I have a huge issue with that. 
then just put it back. Like, if you're not going to give it to me for the price that I wanted, that I agreed to from taking it off the shelf, while even taking a photograph, wasted taking time for me to take a photograph of your product, it, it, that's what I'm talking about. It's become this. Didn't used to have to do all this stuff. I mean, there is no trust thing anymore. You can't just say, well, no, you had $1.25, and then they're like, oh, okay, we'll put it in for $1.25. Like, I can see where that has become probably a huge issue because people lie. There's a lot of people who lie about things, right? So it's hard to trust. You know, trust comes on both ends with that, I guess. But, you know, Dollar General was getting in big trouble for, for doing this and making a lot of uh, items that were showing that they were less than what they really were. Now, I've seen Family Dollar do the same thing, yet we never saw that on the news. So that's a different story. Uh, I mean, you guys have seen it. Like when we go to Family Dollar, like they literally got prices scratched out on the wall. No new stickers or anything. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but the point is, is that I know a lot of our viewers shop at these different Dollar General, Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, all these 99 centers, all these different places to try and save a few dollars, right? Or, or it's a small enough portion that doesn't cost as much that you can use to get by until your next payday. I get it. Okay. Um, and we're going to see more and more issues with this. Now, the one thing that I will say about Dollar General, though, at least they put the stickers on everything. Family Dollar does, too, except for the ones that are scratched out. And which ones are right? That's what I was saying. Like, I mean, yeah, Dollar General does all the work and doing and putting up new stickers and all that stuff, but I still don't feel confident enough in that to not take pictures of the things that I'm buying. So hopefully when I go up to the register and if there's an issue, I can just show them the picture and then they'll just correct the price. And then when you correct the price, then go back there and change the price that you should have changed probably a month or two ago, right? We saw a lot of issues with this at Target as well. You remember? Remember we were doing the little scanner thing and I was going up and I, I had actually mentioned it to him. I had actually talked to a couple different managers at Target and I had told them about this. Like I went and they never changed it. Remember the mayonnaise? Who, if you've been on the channel for a long time, because this was probably over a year ago, but there were things that never, the prices never got changed. They never got fixed. And it was like, I kept talking to them. I was like, look, and this is all off camera. I wasn't trying to, you know, put them down or nothing. I wasn't trying to like say, oh no, you got to do this. No, I was being nice. I was like, look, people are going to come in here. They're going to buy this thing of mayonnaise for, for a dollar less. They're going to get home that they think is a dollar less. They're going to get home. They're going to look at their receipt and then they're going to get super upset and hopefully get their money, right? Or, or you know, get their dollar back because I'm sure the Target would honor that. You know, I'm sure they've probably got a lot of people, probably took a lot of people for them to get to go back and change the prices. But... It shouldn't have come to that. I mean, you got people like me here just going up and saying, hey, look, uh, I've noticed there are several items here that are wrong. Like I even named like a few different items that I checked on their little scanning system thing. You know, the little self-scanner. And it was like they, they had never fixed it. It went on for like a month, more than a month, like a couple months. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I was like, you have your customers here trying to help you so that you don't have other customers buy these products and get upset taking it home, realize they spent a dollar, dollar fifty more than it should have been. Or if you would have changed a sticker, you know, people probably wouldn't have bought it knowing that how high priced it was, maybe. I don't know, but it was I don't know. It was crazy seeing all that. And we saw a lot of that at Dollar General as well. Dollar General, I think at one time I went in there, nothing was the right price. Nothing. They fixed it all. They went and looked for a couple of them. Uh, even the ones that I had a, st a sticker of or a photo, you know, and it was like, that was kind of, you know, it's like, well, they, they and, and the, the problem was that they, they had already looked through a couple of them and said that was fine, but there were a couple that they had to check. Maybe they needed the UPC code or something. I'm not really sure, but it was, it was a headache. It was a headache. And then you got a line of people behind you, you know, you don't want to be that person taking up the line, but I'm not going to overpay, never going to overpay ever. That's, that's part of this, part of the purpose of this channel is so that you save money in the stores and don't be fooled by the trickery. And there ain't one store that hasn't tried this trickery. We see it at Kroger and now we see it at Meyer as well. 
I don't like the whole low price sticker things at Meyer. I feel like that is kind of them trying to do the whole Kroger thing, hoping that they're going to sell this, saying that it's a low price. When it's not, it's the regular price. And if you do something like Target, at least Target is kind of honest about it, where they put new lower price stickers on. They'll put new lower price, right? And then you look at it and, you know, hope, hopefully Dano comes in there and knows, well, you know, Dano with the photographic memory here is going to know whether this is a quarter cheaper or not. <laughs> so if you're going to put new lower price sticker on there, it better be a new lower price. Guys, uh, main, you know, just wanted to talk about some of these things, had some things to talk about, get off my chest with some of this stuff, because I, we continue to read reports about Dollar General and, and kind of the same whole thing going on. Plus, we've gotten some comments on that as well with misplaced stickers, a uh, lot of items that have been missing uh, from Dollar General. I know some people were talking about toilet paper. Last time I went to Dollar General, I need to go back. Um, I do love our Dollar General. Uh, they're very nice people. Uh, very nice. It was another one I was visiting for a little while. It was kind of a mess, but uh, I've since gone back to the one that we usually go to. Everybody is awesome. Everybody's really nice. Uh, and they will, at least at ours, they will help you with everything. But I have confidence that they will help you. It's just sometimes it's going to take a while. That's why these things need to get taken care of. And if they don't get taken care of, this is what's going to kill the business. And that is what I worry about Dollar Tree, is that every a lot of people love Dollar Tree. Somebody brought up an interesting point, too, the other day, saying that there's products at Dollar Tree that you can't get anywhere else. Absolutely. Every store has their thing, right? Their thing that, that you can only buy at this certain place, right? And I guess what I fear with play, I feel like Dollar Tree may be falling into this Dollar General trap where it's like you already have, we're already dealing with employee shortages, these kind of things. And if you're not changing them stickers around with the prices, the whether they go up or down, and you may just set it at that price and forget it, set it and forget it. But you know, things get mixed up. Like we were talking about before, you get in the line, everything in your cart is the wrong price. Because of this, because things are mixed up, you think something's three dollars, really it's a dollar twenty-five. You know, I could see this being a huge headache for not only the customers, the most important thing, the customers, but it's gonna be a headache for Dollar Tree as well. And I I don't wanna see these um I you really can't call them value stores anymore, more convenience stores, but there are still good savings that you can find at places like Dollar Tree, Dollar General. We find savings everywhere. We find savings everywhere. That's why we do what we do. So that as we go, we come across these things, we talk about them, we try to uh, see what's going on. We try to keep everybody in the know of what's going on. And um, I, I felt like my my uh, conversation about Dollar Tree wasn't long enough the other day. That's why we're talking about it a little bit more today. But anyway, guys, uh, we just have to. Stock up on the sales as we see them. I don't see prices. I keep getting that. I keep getting that same comment from a lot of newer viewers. If you're new to the channel, do I ever see prices coming down? No, I don't. Do I see sales that we can make it easier in life? Yes. Sale prices are even getting expensive, though. I mean, I've seen some sale prices that were regular prices like a year ago. But, but as we go along through couponing, uh, different savings, different. Um, you know, different sales that they have throughout the week. I will be going to Meyer tomorrow. So we're going to check out if, if any, Meyer has been kind of weak on the deals lately, but we're going to see what we see. Maybe find some, uh, maybe check some over the counter medicines, make sure Meyer is getting in different medicines. I know some of our Northern States have Meyer, M E I J E R, not Fred Meyer, Meyer store. Um, and I do believe that is it for the day. Wanted to, yeah, just wanted to talk about, you get a lot of people talking about stores closing and, and that's going to, that's going to put a pinch. That's going to put a pinch on things for a lot of people. Um, and, and let, let us know, do you have a family dollar? Which ones, which are some of the stores that you love to shop at that are closing? I know I got a big response from a lot of viewers that were saying that their Ollie's was closed or, or some closing. I hate hearing that. I hope our Ollie's never closes. I love Ollie's. Ollie's Bargain Outlet. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, more issues with Five Below, more than I actually realized. I know we were talking about uh, items at Five Below. Uh, some people were saying 
Uh, someone had said that at their five below, the items started off at five fifty-five. I haven't seen that, but I have seen items that have gotten to ten, even some items above ten dollars at five below. That kind of makes it hard to shop. You know, again, your your name and your store is five below, which means five dollars or less. That is the that is the you know the uh, insinuation of the title there. Right, it's five below, five dollars or below. That is, that's what it's supposed to be, and it's not anymore. Things are changing. I don't think they should really even call it Dollar Tree. Somebody, somebody said they should call it, uh, uh, what is it, um, Family Tree, or <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, it's a dollar and a shrub. You can't, after this next round of price increases, I don't know. They may have to change their name. That's uh, uh we also got a few comments from people that said they have been in. Uh, a, a couple of those family dollar slash Dollar Tree stores and said, you don't like them at all. And the reason you said is because of all the mixed items that are together in the store, which is exactly what all Dollar Trees are talking about doing. I don't know, guys. Uh, we just got to pay attention. Make sure that, uh, you know, while we have the opportunity to get some of these things, that we love at Dollar Tree before it all gets mixed together and prices will inevitably go up. Make sure that you're stocking up on these things so that you don't miss out or have to pay more in the future. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.